Welcome to JSA TV Live, the live streaming newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. Today we are in sunny Austin, Texas for day two of Data Cloud USA. I'm Allison Whelan and joining me today is Thomas Hill, Vice President of Acquisitions and Investments at Lincoln Rackhouse. Thomas, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. Yeah, of course. So what brings you to Data Cloud? What are you hoping to get out of this week? Yeah, so it's always twofold. You know, one, learn about prevailing trends in the industry, you know, always keeping up to date on uh, you know, new advancements, and then two, you know, it's the networking, obviously, wanting to collaborate with other organizations and like-minded groups to see if there's opportunities to collaborate in the future. Yeah, absolutely. And your expertise is in data center acquisitions. Can you share with us some of the elements that go into your evaluation when deciding on a potential purchase? Yeah, sure. So, you know, I've got a traditional real estate background, and I always start high level from that perspective of understanding, you know, the bones of the investment, operate, you know, operations, operating expenses, revenues, you know, the tenant quality and the remaining term on the lease, and then zoom in further to the, the data center components of, you know, what's the power story, what's the, you know, pathway to additional capacity to add value, um, you know, to make sense of, of the investment. Absolutely, I'm sure that background really helps and comes in handy with that. So Lincoln Rackhouse recently made headlines for an acquisition in Atlanta. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So we're very excited. Um, it's a 185,000 square foot facility in Alpharetta. Um, you know, currently across two halls, there are five megawatts today available for lease. We're already underway with an expansion of that facility for an additional eight megawatts. And then down the road, there's a uh, you know, opportunity for an additional expansion for a standalone facility for up to 30 megawatts. So we've got high hopes for that one. Awesome, yeah, it sounds like a lot going on with that one. And then New Albany, Ohio has been dubbed the next Silicon Valley. And then earlier this year, Lincoln Property Company and Harrison Street announced the acquisition of a 190 acre land site that will serve as a multi-use technology and distribution park. Can you tell us more about that data center campus development? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot going on in New Albany, Ohio. Um, you know, at first it was the hyperscalers and Meta, Amazon, and Google. Um, you know, since we put our land under contract, the, the Intel site for the chip manufacturing was announced, so we're very excited about that as well. We're approaching that as a mixed-use project with industrial and data center. Um, you know, about a million square feet of industrial is, is planned for the project, and then anywhere from you know, 1 to 1.5 million square feet of data center, depending on you know, if we do a single uh, user campus style environment or a multi-tenant um, you know, style environment. And uh, you know, we're, as you mentioned, we're, we're, we're underway on the substation. Uh, there'll be an on-site substation coordination with AEP, and we just began construction of that, so we're very excited. Awesome. And what would you say are the top trends in the data center industry right now? Yeah, so what we look for is, is keeping tabs on what the hyperscalers are doing, um, you know, where they are, where they're going, and then, you know, importantly from our perspective, since we are, you know, real estate developers, it's understanding what can they handle themselves versus what do they need, you know, do they need to lease space and partner with third-party developers such as ourselves. Um, and then secondly, it's just, you know, the very basic supply-demand uh, metrics of traditional real estate. It's you know monitoring the primary, secondary markets, understanding uh, the predominant stories and trends. You know, very recently, you saw a lot of supply get gobbled up in the primary markets. Um, you know, not only by hyperscalers but also large colo operators and enterprise enterprise users. So it's just reading that, anticipating um, trends, and then you know, if you want to acquire or build, you know, getting ahead of that trend because oftentimes that speed to delivery will, will win deals and, and have successful projects. Yeah, that's amazing. And where can our viewers go to learn more? Yeah, you can check out our portfolio at rackhouse.com. And uh, we're also active on LinkedIn uh, under Lincoln Rackhouse. Awesome. Well, we look forward to hearing more from you guys. And I'm sure we'll have you on again. And you'll have even more acquisitions underway. So thank you for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to Data Cloud USA and JSA TV Live. Happy networking.